Hello, in this tutorial we are going to talk about introduction to estimating and costing. So, what is estimating and costing? Estimating is a technique of calculating or computing the various quantities and the expected expenditure to be incurred on a particular work or a project. So, before execution of any work, we can guess the cost of that particular project. So, this is the benefit of what estimating and costing. Now, what is importance of estimating and costing? Estimate give an idea of the cost of the work and hence its feasibility can be determined. So before execution of the work, we can know the cost of that particular work. Okay, so this is benefit of estimating and costing whether the project could be taken up with the funds available or not. Let's suppose we have in project and we have done the estimating and costings and the total cost for that project will be $10,000. This is just an example. Okay. Now the funds that are available with us are only 8,000. So with these funds, we cannot execute this particular project. So this is the benefit of estimating and costing. Second, estimate gives an idea of time required for completion of the work. Estimate is required to invite the tender and quotation and to arrange contract. Estimate is also required to control the expenditure during the execution of the work. Okay, and estimate decide whether the proposed plan matches the funds available or not. So this is the importance of estimating and costing. Now next day, let's look about what data we require for estimate. Now the first one over here is for estimation purpose we need drawing. This is very important that we need drawing. Okay, and in drawing what we need is we need plan, we need section, we need elevation. So let's look about what is plan and what we can get from the plan. What is section? What we can get from the section? What is elevation? And what we can get from the elevation? So here you can see the example regarding the plan. From plan we can get length and the breadth of the object. Okay, so from plan what we will get? We'll get length and the breadth so if you need length and the breadth of the object during the estimation you will go directly into the plan this example you can see over here we have just plan of a two toilet open area and we have two rooms over here let's suppose i need length and the breadth of the walls i'll directly go here in plan and i can get the length and the breadth of this okay so this is all about the plan so this is very important to know about uh, from plan we'll get what length and the breadth okay next one over here is section and there are two types of section one is called as cross section and and in other is called as long section so uh, from cross section we can just get breadth in the height of an object and uh, with that material as well okay and uh, from long section we can get length and the height of that particular object and material as well so here uh, this is the cross section you can see over here we can get breadth and the height okay and uh, this is the plan and uh, you can see over here I have cut the section right over here along its breadth that's why it is called as uh, cross section okay so from this section we can get breadth of this wall and the height of this wall in the material that we are using in this particular wall we can get this we can get the uh, room breadth okay we can get this uh, breadth of this wall and the height then again room and breadth of this wall and the height and material as well so let's look about this so you can see over here we have just this wall and in this wall we can get breadth and the height as well as the material that we are using let's suppose this is a brick okay and here at this level we have lentil beams and at this level we have top beam and this slab over here okay so we can get the material as well from the section okay and next to it we have room then again the mid wall this wall okay and we can get the detail regarding this wall as well then again we have a room and then wall as well so simply from from cross section or the long section if we have cross section from cross section we can get breadth and the height in the material and from long section if we will cut this along the length okay from here from length this will be called as long section simply okay so we can get length and the height of that particular object so this is all about the plan in the section and uh, this is very important if you need the material regarding any object uh, or if you need a uh, length and the breadth and the height of that particular object or any particular object you will directly go into the section okay now the next one over here is elevation and eleva elevation is nothing but views okay views from the front views from the side and views from the back okay so here you can see the example regarding the front uh, elevation okay this is the front view of this building this building and in this building what we can see from the front is uh, this wall we can see the entrance to this building okay we can see the stairs from the front we can see the mumti we can see uh, this uh, 
parapet wall okay so this is basically the front view or you can say it as camera view if you will take the photo from the front you can see this kind of view so this is all about the elevation now from elevation we can uh, just uh, see the exterior of the building we can see breadth or the length of the building and the height of the building as well okay so this is all about plan section and elevation this is very important to know about what we will get from plan what we will get from section and what we will get from elevation okay during estimation when we need length and the breadth we will directly go into the plan when we need a material of any object or breadth and the height of the object will directly go into the section and when we need a, the exterior part of any building will go into the elevation okay so hope you understand uh, the drawing and uh, the different part of the drawing and uh, what we will get from those parts okay now next one in the estimation purpose is uh, very important that we need specifications okay so what is specification specification describe the nature and the class of the work okay material to be used in the work workmanship etc and it is very important for the execution of the work the cost of the work depends much on specifications and specification should be clear let me just give you the example over here now in drawing let's suppose this is our drawing and i want to just make estimate for the doors now in drawing we will just get the size of the door only size of the door but uh, which material we are using in that particular door we can get only from the specification you can see over here okay it could be the wood material it could be the steel material okay so the rate of the wood will be different and a uh, uh, rate of the steel would be different okay so that's why we need a material as well so this material will get from the specification okay so this is how specifications is very important okay so this is all about the specification first we need to just go into the drawing we need to find out the total quantities then we'll go into the specification we'll see which material we are using in that particular work and based on those material we can just find out the cost okay so hope you understand what is drawing and what is specification and why we need specification next to it and the last one over here is the rates and for estimating purpose we need material rate we need labor rate we need carriage rate okay so these rates should be real as per market rates and there are different government department which have their own schedule of rates you can get those and the example could be pwd rate we have mes rate we have fwo rates okay so you will find the schedule of rates books say from there you can get excavation uh, rates say let's suppose pcc rate you can uh, just get uh, the door rates okay different kind of rates from the schedule of rates so these are very important things uh, before doing the estimating of uh, any kind of building project of any kind of project okay uh, so we need to know about the drawing we need to know about the specification we need to know about the rates okay so based on this we can find out the total cost of any project hope you really understand the session we'll see you in the next